Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. I'm Elliot, along with the rest of the FTV crew. That COVID and masks may still be the main theme, but we are working around them to make all the best things happen. Hey Falcons, welcome back. As most are aware, the most recent exclusive order related to the mask in school once again requires that masks be worn at all times when you are indoors, especially when you're eating under extreme physical. Everyone must be vigilant. That said, looking how people are doing during all this uncertainty has become a main focus. Physical and emotional health are key. For one teacher, her approach has gone national. Many people have had those stressful mornings, evenings, and weekends. Kids definitely feel that stress, and it's a good idea to communicate with the child, child's teacher if a student might require extra time, help, patience. Um, fourth grade teacher, Rachel Harder. She doesn't need the details. She only needs to know how to handle with care. Harder said, her school loved the idea and figured there needed to be a way to make this work in their own classroom. So, Carter offers parents the opportunity to text her with the words, handle with care, if it's been a particularly rough evening or morning. The message she gives to parents is the following. If your family is experiencing difficulty at home, I would like to provide additional support at school. I understand that you are not always able to share details and that's okay. If your child is coming to school after a difficult night or morning or weekend, please text me handle with care. Nothing else will be said or asked. This will let me know that your child may need extra time, patience, wear, help during the day. The Kansas teacher's message to the parents of her students is now being shared on social media by educators all across the country. We hope you are feeling well today and are geared up to start the beginning of the new year. Here's some positive developing news about possibly stopping COVID-19. In Sao Paulo, Brazilian researchers have found that a molecule in the venom of a type of snake inhibited coronavirus reproduction in monkey cells, a possible first step toward a drug to stop the virus causing COVID-19. The study found that the molecule produced by the Jeraracazu pit viper stopped the virus's ability to multiply in monkey cells by 75%. Already known for its antibacterial qualities, the peptide can be synthesized in the laboratory. So this may become something very positive in the fight against COVID. The media department is planning to head to Los Angeles this spring. If you would be interested, there will be a meeting on September 22nd online. More details to come. Rolling down Imperial Highway The big nasty bed out of my side Santa and the wind's blowing hot from the north We were born to ride If you had not had the opportunity to yet see it, this Friday there are plans to have a pep rally and you will be able to see it then. But our principal and AD, Mr. McGee, and Mr. Bennett, along with the superintendent, Mr. Reyna, helped to transform the main gym into a focal point for Oakrest. And the gym looks awesome. And there are some other people we'd also like to thank. And we go back to Elliot for more. A nice job to them. And the entire custodial staff who have spent the time in the summer making sure Oakcrest was ready to go for everyone as we begin the year. We will also like to welcome Mr. Olson back into the fold. He has been the math teacher and baseball head coach here at Oakcrest and now has returned as a new vice principal. Take it over for Mr. Wilberham, who has retired last year. Welcome, Mr. Olson. Okay. That's all for today. So for me and everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day.